Finland has officially begun construction on the third Pajama class corvette, marking a significant milestone in the country's ongoing naval modernization efforts. The steel cutting ceremony at Rama Marine Construction's shipyard on August 26, 2025, highlighted the continued progress of the Squadron 2020 program, which aims to replace seven aging vessels with four highly versatile, ice capable corvettes. This program represents Finland's largest investment in its naval capabilities in recent decades and underscores the nation's commitment to safeguarding its maritime security in the Baltic region. The Pojama class corvettes are designed to perform multiple roles, including anti-air, anti-surface, anti-submarine, and mine warfare, while also supporting NATO operations. Each vessel reflects the Finnish Navy's desire to combine several operational capabilities into a single platform, capable of operating effectively in the challenging conditions of the Baltic Sea year-round. The third corvette's construction confirms the Finnish Navy's steady progress toward its goal of fielding a modern, multi-role fleet capable of replacing older vessels, including Rama-class missile boats, Hamima-class minelayers, and the former Pojama minelayer. The development of the Pojama-class program has spanned more than a decade. Initial research and conceptual planning began in 2008, and the project officially launched in 2015. A 647.6 million euro shipbuilding contract for four vessels was awarded to Rama Marine Constructions in 2019, with Saab selected to provide the combat management systems and sensor suites. However, design revisions and delays related to the COVID-19 pandemic extended the construction timeline by approximately 18 months and increased the total projected cost by around 200 million euros, bringing the estimated budget for the program to nearly 1.45 billion euros. Despite these challenges, deliveries are expected between 2027 and 2029, with the ships anticipated to remain in operational service until the 2050s. Each Pojama-class corvette measures 117 meters in length with a beam of 16 to 16.5 meters, a draft of 5 meters, and a displacement of roughly 4,300 tons. The vessels are designed to accommodate crews of 70 to 73 personnel, although they can house up to 120 if required. Their endurance allows for 14 days at sea, and they can cover approximately 3,500 nautical miles without refueling. The corvettes employ a Codlag propulsion system, which combines one General Electric LM2500 gas turbine with four man 12V175D diesel generator sets to produce a total of 28 megawatts. Propulsion is delivered via two shafts equipped with controllable pitch propellers, supplemented by twin bow thrusters, enabling speeds exceeding 26 knots while maintaining low acoustic signatures for anti submarine operations. The armament suite aboard each corvette is extensive and designed to address threats from multiple domains. The forward Bofors 57mm Mk3 gun, recycled from Hamina class missile boats, provides flexible surface and air engagement capability. Two Saab track fire remote weapon stations offer additional defensive coverage, while four rainmetal mass decoy launchers enhance survivability against missile threats. The primary anti-ship weapon system consists of eight Gabriel V missiles per ship, designated PTO-2020 in Finnish service. For air defense, eight MK-41 vertical launch system cells accommodate 32 RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow missiles, ESSM, Block 2, locally referred to as ITO-20. Anti-submarine warfare is supported by Saab Torped 47 lightweight torpedoes, and the vessels can deploy up to 100 PB-17 naval mines using stern rails. A flight deck and hangar enable the operation of helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles, further enhancing the corvette's operational flexibility. The onboard combat management system integrates Saab's 9LV system, paired with Sea Giraffe 4 AFF fixed-face AESA radar and Sea Giraffe 1X radar mounted on Saab's lightweight integrated mast. 
Fire control is handled through two Cirrus 200 radar and electro-optical directors. Sonar coverage includes the Kongsberg SS-2030 hull-mounted sonar, the Kongsberg SD-9500 dipping sonar, and Patria's dual-toed Sonac DTS system, providing both active and passive underwater detection capabilities. Communications are supported by Saab's Tactical Integrated System and an Electronic Warfare Suite combines electronic support measures, countermeasures, and a naval laser warning system. Together, these systems provide multi-domain operational capability, allowing the Finnish Navy to operate effectively across surface, air, and subsurface environments while remaining fully interoperable with NATO structures. The Squadron 2020 program has also had a significant industrial impact in Finland. Rauma Marine Constructions constructed a multi-purpose production hall, upgraded its steel processing facilities, and modified launching barges and transfer systems to facilitate efficient and secure production. The program is estimated to generate over 3,600 person years of employment, supporting a wide range of subcontractors and regional partners. RMC's involvement in international collaborations, including a July 2025 consortium with U.S., Canadian, and Finnish firms competing for icebreaker contracts, further underscores the company's growing reputation in ice-capable shipbuilding. Finnish expertise in Arctic conditions, reinforced by systems such as the ARC ILMS Ice Load Monitoring System, has become a key selling point for both domestic and international projects. Operationally, the four Pajama-class corvettes, together with modernized Hamina-class missile boats, will form the backbone of Finland's navy for decades to come. Despite some public debate regarding their classification, given their displacement and size relative to traditional frigates, Finnish officials maintain that the ship's design prioritizes multi-role functionality, including mine-laying capability and adaptation to the Baltic's unique operational environment. Critics have raised questions about the vessel's visibility and size, but the Navy emphasizes that the integration of multiple functions within a single platform is necessary to meet both national defense needs and NATO mission requirements. The construction of the third Pajama-class corvette represents not only progress toward completing the Squadron 2020 fleet but also a broader commitment to strengthening Finland's maritime security. The corvettes are expected to operate in the Baltic year-round, providing flexible responses to evolving threats in a strategically sensitive region. By combining advanced sensors, weapon systems, and ice-capable design features, the Finnish Navy aims to maintain a credible deterrent and ensure operational readiness in partnership with NATO allies. The vessel's long service life, extending into the 2050s, reflects Finland's forward-looking approach to defense planning, emphasizing both technological sophistication and adaptability in a rapidly changing security environment. As construction continues, attention will increasingly shift to the integration of combat systems, crew training, and eventual sea trials. Once operational, the Pojama-class corvettes will significantly enhance Finland's naval capabilities, offering advanced defensive and offensive options while enabling flexible mission profiles ranging from mine-laying operations to anti-submarine warfare. The program also highlights the importance of domestic industrial capacity in delivering complex military platforms, ensuring that Finland can meet both national and allied requirements. Ultimately, the start of production on the third Pajama-class corvette demonstrates Finland's commitment to modernizing its navy, bolstering regional security, and maintaining interoperability with NATO partners. With a combination of advanced weaponry, multi-domain operational systems, and ice-capable design, the Pajama-class corvettes are poised to become central assets in Finland's maritime defense strategy for decades to come. The Squadron 2020 program illustrates a carefully planned approach to naval modernization, balancing operational needs, industrial development, and international collaboration to create a capable, versatile, and resilient naval force for the 21st century.